video I'm going to go through with you what working memory is and why it's a problem for dyslexics and then I'm going to go through some solutions and things you can do to make it easier and better to remember things. Working memory only holds information for a very short space of time before it is forgotten. For example, remembering a phone number or remembering directions which you only need to remember for a short period of time. That's forgotten and then new information comes in to your working memory and then within a short space of time that then gets forgotten only to be replaced by something new. The average person can hold between four and seven bits of information in their head before it then starts to vanish, only to be replaced by something new. Dyslexics may find it harder to hold as many bits of information before they are forgotten. Therefore, we need more strategies than the average person in order to remember information, such as phone numbers and directions. So now I'm gonna go through with you the science bit, how the memory actually works, and then how we can work with the science in order to improve how we remember things. So working memory is just a cycle of new information in, information out, new information in, old information comes out. Your working memory is a system. The boss of this system is called the central executive. This is the bit that tells the others what they need to pay attention to. There is usually so much in the world going on around you that you couldn't possibly pay attention to everything and therefore your central executive system tells your brain which bits to pay attention to and which bits to ignore. This then feeds into two other systems, the first of which is called the phonological loop. This loop stores short sound bites to your memory just for a few seconds until they are lost. This is why you might find yourself repeating numbers such as 274, 274, as it helps your brain remember them. The other part of this system is called the visuospatial sketchpad. This holds visual information, so information about the things that you see around you for a very short few seconds. Now it's time for some solutions. What you need to do is learn how to get things out of your working memory and either into your short term memory or your long term memory. This will help you remember them better and for longer. To teach you how, I'm going to go through an example with you. I'm going to give you five things to remember and this will be how you normally remember things and then we're going to go through techniques. Lamp Chair Candle Cushion Stairs So how many of those did you remember? It's likely that you would have found it quite hard. So now I'm going to show you a way of making it easier. Using your imagination to have pictures of what you're trying to remember should really help. So we're going to try that next. Lamp. A white lamp with a pull cord switch. A blue folding camping chair. Imagine yourself sitting on it. Candle. A lemon scented yellow candle. A spotted pink cushion and some curved stairs. Imagine yourself going up and down the stairs. How many did you remember this time? You should have found it a little bit easier because not only were you using what you were hearing, but you were also using visual images to help you remember. So now we're gonna kick it up a gear with the story approach. We're gonna put the words into a story. When you listen to the story, Think about how it feels, how things smell, and imagine yourself in the situation, and then see how that helps your memory. So you go take a seat in the blue camping chair, and you, as you sit there, you think, oh, I'm just not that comfortable. So you think, okay, I'm gonna get a cushion. That's gonna make me a lot more comfortable. So you get the spotty pink cushion. You sit down, you're thinking, I'm still not that comfortable enough. It's just a bit dark in here. So what you do next is you put the light on and you get the little candle just to get a bit of atmosphere going. Then, oh my goodness, the candle falls over. The fallen candle then sets the carpet alight and you realise that there's a fire extinguisher but it's down the stairs. So you must run as quickly as you can to get the fire extinguisher and put the fire out. 
So you run down the stairs and get the fire extinguisher and put the fire out. All good. So how many did you remember this time? Hopefully you got a lot closer to remembering all five. So you can use this technique in your everyday life. It's just a matter of using your imagination and all your senses, what you see, hear, smell, to make a story of what you're trying to remember and this will help cement it into your memory. Good luck! This video was brought to you by Dyslexia Mountains, your path to success.